Ayo, it's your boy Lake Gaming coming at y'all with another NBA 2K20 video. Before we even get started with the video, I just want to say thanks for all the support we've been getting from the daily uploads. We, you guys have been going crazy, and I'm going to continue turning up with the daily uploads. If you have not liked, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get back to the video. Off the bat, I just want to say, this is a true big man that I actually built. Before, I have made, this is my second big man ever. I have ever made in a 2k before I have made stretch two way stretches small forwards power forwards but not a true seven foot center who can dunk play defense and all of the above like this is the that build if you just want to have a fun build that you can take to the park this is gonna be that build because you're gonna be, have all the essentials to be able to catch bodies like that i am doing contact dunks and i'm only at 84 overall i repeat 84 overall i made this build because 2k deleted all my my plays if you have not noticed 2k deleted all my plays this is my only build and i have another 77 overall build so i hit up everyone on the 2k team i'm like yo ronnie i need my build back i hit him up to this day that man has not even hit me back so i decided to go in the lab and cook for y'all and i can say this is it coach because this build is definitely the funnest build i played in a minute because i was streaking up at the twos they cannot stop me i am catching lobs back to back each play as you can see from the gameplay this guy cannot stop me i ended up halfway through i thought this man quit he could not he just stopped playing defense on me they're too small to guard me but the reason why i ended up coming to the conclusion i wanted to make a big man is because the fact that when the, i had no builds and i did not want to create another shooting builds because that's what i've always made since 2k18 i have a shooting build i have a two-way two-way stretch and all the above but that is not a true big man i have not made an actual big man which is purpose is just being a big man like where you can dominate catching boards catching dunks and all the above since it's halfway through the 2k year i did not want to make a build that i was not going to be able to have fun with that's the most essential thing if you're gonna make a build don't just make a build just because it's the most op build make a build where you're able to have fun with it like look at this build i mean like he's jumping for no reason he's jumping for no reason i ticked the rat that's the thing i've been saying make a build that you gonna have fun it's way too late in the year for you to make the same build that everyone is making make a build that you gonna have the most fun make a different build make if you're a shooter make a pure slasher if you're a point guard make a center because that will change your like how you play after i changed into a pure big man my whole play style completely changed i had so much fun because of the fact that i was doing different things that i could i was not able to do look at me i am catching lobs that whole game was just pure lob city shout out to dan the man that was my guy we've been streaking it up at the twos we were streaking it up at the twos until four in the morning i'm not gonna lie i was playing this game until four in the morning i've not played this game that long in a long time i had so much fun i had so much fun playing 2k yesterday so this build this build is it that's all i can say from the gameplay the guys 84 overall my guys are 84 overall i just wanted to get him to the point where he was actually just able to play i think i played like maybe three my career games and that was it i took him out to the park and i grinded the rest of my badges that's why i'm just gonna grind i'm not gonna show you i'll bring out the build once i get this man to a 99 overall so that they stay tuned for that i'm gonna be grinding this man out because this is one of the the funnest builds i've made in a long time it's very fun I, that's the thing before i had shooters but like as a shooter all you do is just shoot 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 it can be fun but most of the time it's really fun when you switch up your play style but yeah from the gameplay you see i'm at 80 overall i have three finishing badges two defensive badges and i have zero shooting badges or playmaking badges so what i just have is just that nothing too crazy at all i am not gonna lie i don't know how i have not made a big man before Cause big man's, you guys have it the easiest, honestly. 
Most big men, I'm not going to lie, they don't really don't know how to play the big man position. If they do, they're jumping on their feet all the time. So it's really easy. The big men get the easiest rap. They get the most rap because you're getting boards. You're either getting boards or you're getting, you know, you're scoring. It's really easy to rep up. You can rep up your big man in the park. Cause that's what I wanted. I went going into this, I was thinking, I don't want to go play any in my career. I'm trying to eliminate the need to play in my career. For this build, all you need is one person. One person. You can even play this build with randoms. That's very key. If you don't got that many people that you got to run with, make this build and you're going to be able to go to the twos, to the threes, and be able to run with the randoms. And you're going to be able to be very efficient. Me. Since I build, I've gone went and played with randoms, and I managed to get maybe even 10 to 12 boards, just like that. It's pretty easy, cause the fact that, if especially if you're playing with randoms, they're gonna be missing a lot, and that's gonna give you a lot of rep. It's gonna give you a lot of rep, and you're gonna be leveling up quite easy. And my rep ball was moving so fast; it was moving extremely fast. I've never seen this, cause as a shooter, you have to shoot perfectly the whole game or 2k is not gonna give you the most rep as a big man it's like it's different for y'all it's really different i guess and the rep bar don't even get started me on how quick you get your takeover it's ridiculous like look at that you see my rep bar my takeover bar is moving fast as hell same with my rep bar that's why i'm trying to confuse my rep bar and my takeover bar mean moving insanely quick as a shooter you if you're not greening your shot you would take over badge it's moving this slow is moving dumb slow and it lasts forever. The thing about my interior finisher that's different to a lot of interior finishes is they I got the takeover slashing. That's my takeover. Most people choose the glass cleaning takeover or the post. For me, I would suggest either taking the post, the post, the playmaker. I don't know about the playmaker. Don't even touch the playmaker. The, I'll take the post and the slashing. Those two are the best. Because at the end of the day, even if you get the glass cleaning, you're still able to get a rebounded. Because this guy, look at him. He's chilling in the paint. I have, I barely have any finishing badges, but I'm able to just yam it. Like I said, I am not that high of an overall, so you're not gonna be seeing nothing too crazy. I'm trying to stick to the basics. I'm an idiot over at the end of the day. I'm sticking to the basics, and it's working. You know, let this sit. If it ain't broken, they need to fix it. If it ain't broken, you ain't gotta touch it. That's what I did. As an idiot overall, I didn't even touch it. I have VC, but I spent it on just upgrading attributes because I found my play. He was at the right spot. And I like 84 overall. If you see a 84 overall and he's doing this to you, he's he's dropping 20 points on your head like that. Drop lane. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad because he is too small to like even stop me. He's just too small to even stop me. That's the thing. That's what I said. So this whole gameplay, you're not gonna be seeing me going out of my element. But once I get this match to a 99 overall, I'll bring y'all the build and how to set up the badges and everything else in between. So right now, I'm just testing out the waters and see what really works for the big man. So I am still getting used to being as a big man. This is my second time ever creating a big man. The the last big man I made he was a two way stretch and this is 2K18. That was 2K18. It's a long time ago. That was 2K18 and that's at 2K stretches they were not even able to play as much defense as this guy at the end of the day. So this guy can I I'll probably get the question can this guy even dunk? Can this guy shoot? You can shoot, you can shoot that midi, of course, come on, every big man, most big men can shoot that easy midi if they get the opportunity, And but like, but this, that's what the ma makes a big man really cheesy, I didn't want to just create a shooting big man again, that's so that's what led to this path, and I'll be bringing y'all the video hella soon, that's how we finish off the gameplay, I hope y'all have a beautiful day, and I'm out.